what is up guys welcome back to another brand new video and today we're going to take a look at top 10 wwe things that will always remain in mystery number 10 john cena's heel turn will bring in a new attitude in the wwe the wwe is in a quote unquote new era but does that stop it from bringing in a different type of attitude for this new era if y'all quite think about it other than creating this new era slogan what else has really changed in the product other than bringing in the brand extension which isn't really a new idea so is this new era slogan thing just to hold off for until they do turn cena heel so that an actual new era does begin or is this all bs we can't really be for sure until the day of cena turning heel is around us Number 9, Two Ultimate Warriors When The Ultimate Warrior was released by WWE in 1991 due to having trouble on getting on one page with the company, he vanished from the wrestling scene for a whole year but made his unknowingly surprise return a year later in 1992. Many fans believe that it wasn't the same Ultimate Warrior due to looking a bit more skinnier, having shorter hair and even wrestling differently. Many believe that he may have passed away in 1991 due to his mysterious disappearance, making Vince hire a lookalike of the Ultimate Warrior. What's even more messed up is when Warrior made his WCW debut, the first thing Hulk Hogan said to him was, I thought you were dead. Scripted or not, that sounds creepy as hell. Number 8, The Real Reason Why Triple H Broke Up With China We all know Triple H was seeing Steph even while China and him were dating, but do we really know the real reason as to why Triple H started cheating on China with Stephanie McMahon? I mean call it coincidental, but many fans believe that the only reason why Triple H dated Stephanie McMahon in the first place was to have control over the WWE someday, and from the way it's been heading in terms of having the right to call some final decisions and being the leader of NXT, has Triple H planned all of this out? Remember these are myths and conspiracy theories, I'm not making any of these up, it's what the wrestling community has come up with. Number 7, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash and Vince Russo were all sent out by Vince McMahon to destroy WCW. During the 90s when WWE and WCW were fighting over ratings, Vince McMahon apparently sent out two men by the names of Scott Hall and Kevin Nash to destroy and kill WCW to the ground. Now even though Nash and Scott debuted a couple years before Vince Russo did, at the end of the day they were all there apparently to kill WCW which eventually did happen not too long after Vince Russo came into WCW. Stuff like giving out guaranteed contracts with lots of money put a massive hole financially and also stuff like making Nash work for the creative team which by the way led them to pay him half a million dollars to do so were all stuff that buried WCW down to the ground and eventually making WWE easily buy out WCW for only two million dollars. Number 6, The Ultimate Warrior was murdered. Right after getting inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame and giving his last ever speech on Raw the night before his death which apparently was because of a heart disease, many have came out and have said that this wasn't just an ordinary death and that he was murdered. How? No one is truly sure but a couple names have been called out such as Hulk Hogan's, Kevin Nash's, Jake Roberts and even the Illuminati. Again, this story goes in real deep as to why he was murdered and that the news outlets are just keeping this a secret. Number 5, The Relationship Between Randy Savage and Stephanie McMahon Before Randy Savage finally got inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2015, everyone in the wrestling community was wondering as to why he was getting ignored every year. The rumor was that Vince disliked him a lot and for that people started wondering why. Well one popular theory that started flowing around was that Savage and Steph had an inappropriate relationship when she was only 17. Now even though this hasn't gotten any confirmation from yours truly Stephanie McMahon herself, it's still something many wrestling fans till this day are still wondering about. Number 4, Vince McMahon covered up Jimmy Snuka's case. After finding out that Jimmy Snuka's girlfriend was found dead on May of 1983 after taken to a hospital, there wasn't really a clear story as to how she hit her head. Jimmy said that he found her in her dying moments after coming home from a TV shoot, but since the case was reopened just two years ago in 2014, it was confirmed that Jimmy had killed his girlfriend in their hotel room. Now before some of you start getting confused, it's not how she died cause that's solved now, it's the fact that Vince McMahon was the one who covered up this murder at those years for the protection of his popular wrestler at that moment. With the power Vince has, it wouldn't be surprising if he was the one who got Jimmy off of the hook, especially considering that his daughter Tamina Snuka was still working for the company even while the trial was going on this year in March of 2016. Number 3, The Montreal Screwjob Was A Work There are many theories out there as to why this could have been a work and one of the biggest works in wrestling history. The theories are that this could have been all a plan to hire the ratings, which did happen, especially right after Hart left the company. Some were even curious as to why the cameras were backstage documenting this whole situation as if it was meant to happen. Even the black eye that Vince had on the left side of his face was said to be all makeup and if y'all quite think about it, it wouldn't be surprising if it was makeup, especially knowing that Shane McMahon's so called bruised face the night after WrestleMania 32 was all makeup as well. Number 2, Chris Benoit was innocent. 
After finding the bodies of the whole family on Sunday, the day Chris Benoit was scheduled to be at the Vengeance pay-per-view, many were shocked as to what just happened. After closing the case and declaring Benoit as the murderer of his family and committing suicide to himself right after, many weren't ready to believe that Benoit had done all of this, especially with how friendly he was with everyone. Till this day, many aren't ready to give up the fact that Benoit is innocent, thus making theories as to why Benoit is innocent. The theory goes when the family was found dead on a Sunday, Chris sent out many texts on the same day which doesn't make sense, but when his body was taken to a medical examiner, they were told that Chris died on a Saturday and not on a Sunday, creating the question of who sent out those texts. It was also said that before Benoit killed himself, he injected himself with steroids, but the steroids that were found inside of the house was said to have not been injected into Benoit's body. There were also drinks around Chris's body, but when tested, results were negative. Friends had even said that Chris and Nancy were taking alternate routes from work to their house because they had a feeling that they were being watched and followed. Also, Nancy Benoit's death was posted on the internet well over 12 hours before she was found dead in their house, meaning someone already knew that she had died well before the cops found out. Kevin Sullivan, the ex-husband of Nancy Benoit, was said to have been the murderer of the family, but there were no traces of him in the house. But since it was found out that Chris had taken anxiety pills, aka sleeping pills, before all of this had happened, there would have been no chance of Chris saving himself or his family if someone had broke into their house. Overall, this case could possibly be never solved. Number 1. WWE is part of the Illuminati One of the biggest conspiracy theories that will always be a mystery is whether or not WWE is part of the Illuminati. Many people say that the logos that WWE wrestlers used and the hand gestures they all make are all part of the Illuminati ritual. Also, many people say that the deaths of China, Chris Benoit, and the Ultimate Warrior are all from the Illuminati.